Now that we have products added, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to manage those products. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my products and it's going to show you all the products that we've installed. We've installed a website, a blog, and an application, our, our slideshow. So to the right of every product, you have buttons. One is an admin, one is a preview, one is a move, one is support, and one is delete. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the admin button. If you click on the admin button of the website or the application, it's going to log you right into the back end of that product, and you're going to be able to start adding uh, different uh, pages or content, anything that you're looking to do there. I'm going to go ahead and close this out and I'm going to show you now the blog is a little bit different. So when I add, when I go to the admin, I, the first time that I log in here, I actually have to set up my login and password. So I'm going to give it a site title and this is going to be my studio name and then uh, my username will be admin and just uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in a password here and then I'll put my email and then I will go ahead and click install WordPress and this is just going to do the final login and password information for WordPress so once that's all done we'll be able to uh, log into WordPress and every time we click 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 the admin you're going to go ahead and see something like this where you type in your username and password and you'll be able to log into WordPress I'm going to go back to the membership and that covers the admin. So the next time that I click on this button, uh, again, you're just going to have that login and password page. Now, if we want to preview a product, um, we don't have anything actually set up right now. So you're not going to see anything until you actually put content into any product. So once you have images and text or any kind of pages, you're going to be able to go ahead and click preview and you'll be, you'll be able to actually see the product. If I want to move a product is the next button. So right here we have this product is installed at forward slash slideshow. And let's say I want to move that. I'm going to go ahead and click move. And I'm just going to change this. Maybe I want to put it in a folder called Ruby. And I'm going to say move now. And then what it's going to do is it's going to take all the files and it's going to move them from forward slash slideshow into forward slash Ruby. And once it's done, you'll see that it says your product has been installed here you're going to X out here and you'll see it refresh and your Ruby slideshow will be right there. Um, so if you want to move a blog, it's a little bit different. You have two things to think about. I'm going to click move on the blog and I can change the location just like uh, we did with Ruby. So let's say I want to type instead of have it forward slash blog, I want it forward slash my blog and I can go ahead and click move now. And what it's doing is it's taking all of the WordPress information and it's moving it over to my blog. And as soon as it's done, you're going to see this, uh, this information come up saying that it has been moved and then everything has been moved over. So it's done. I'm going to go ahead and click the X. And you're going to see that now the blog is at my blog. Don't forget, if you click move and you want to change the location, if you were to have added a domain, uh, like if I put anthony.com, I would then be able to click this drop down and choose that domain, although I don't have any domains added at this time. The second part of the blog is to go ahead and move or change the database. So if I'm using the current database, my blog, and I want to change that database, let's say that I was using uh, a different database that I want to use with this template and I want to manage that database I can go ahead and click change and I can choose from an existing database which is the only one I have set up or I can even start a new database so I can go ahead and title this one January uh, 15 and go ahead and click move now and what it's going to do is it's going to take that template and it's going to now associate it with that new database that I'm creating once it's all done Again, it's going to go ahead and prompt you and let you know that it's finished. You could X out. And all that heavy lifting, all that database management is going on behind the scenes so that you don't actually have to go in and do it. Now our prompt window has come up and it says your product's been installed. Uh, so the database has been changed. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And you'll see that the database now has changed from my blog to January 15. If I were to click admin, I'd have to set up a login and password because it's a new WordPress database and then I'd be able to log into it. The fourth button over is the support button. This button is going to take you to a page that's specifically for this product. You're going to find information like image sizes, how to set up a home page on your blog if you have that option, how to set up all the different pages on your website, um, so logo sizes, anything like that. 
So if you're looking for specific information about that product, that's a great place to start. It'll also link you to videos to help you with that product and get the best out of that product. And then the last thing that you're gonna to wanna to know is about how to delete something. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this product right here. Let's say I don't want this product anymore. I wanna go ahead and click the delete button. It's gonna give me this warning. I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, I understand. And I'm gonna delete this. Once it's deleted, it's deleted forever. It prompts me twice just to make sure that you're not clicking it by accident. Yes, delete forever. And then your product has been removed. I'm gonna go ahead and click the X and now it refreshes and that product is gone. Those are the basics on how to manage your products in the My Products section. Again, if you click on the support button here, it's gonna take you to more information about that product, about how to use that product. We're not gonna cover that in this video, um, but please take the time to go through those that documentation and watch those videos, and it'll step you through how to set up all your products and get it up and running as fast as possible. Thanks for watching.